Welcome to video 10.2a, Congruent Chords. And I should mention, we've taken all the proofs out of chapter 10, so some lessons will be very quick, and this is an example of one of those. Okay, so we've got a definition. Equidistant chords, chords that are the same distance from the center of a circle. So here's a chord and here's a chord. This distance and this distance are the same, congruent. Okay. Then I've got two theorems. Uh, one's the converse to the other. If chords are equidistant, like this, then those chords are congruent. The converse, if I know that these two chords are congruent, then I know that they're equidistant. Okay, there's simply one example. Example one, let's do it. So given circle, well this should be circle O, given circle O with um, AB congruent to CD. Well, if AB is congruent to CD, that means that these things, uh, these chords are equidistant. Okay. Uh, OP is 12X minus five, and OQ is 4X plus 19. Find OP. All right. Well, this expression equals that expression, so let's set up the equation, let's solve for x, and then let's answer the question. Again, the three steps. So 12x minus 5 equals 4x plus 19. Subtract 4x from each side. 8x minus 5 equals 19. Add 5 to each side. 8x equals 24. Divide each side by 8 and they get x to equal 3. They don't care about x, they want op. So I'll take that 3 and I'll put it into there. So I've got op equals 12 times 3 minus 5. That's 36 minus 5. op equals 31. So there you have it. Congruent chord relationships and one example. And that's it for this lesson.